Battlefront 2 is getting an update next week, it will most likely be on a Wednesday if they follow their usual pattern which will be Wednesday the 4th of December. This is going to be one of two updates in December for the game and this first one is going to focus on reinforcement skins, all of which have now been confirmed by Ben Walk himself to be Clone Wars reinforcement skins. In the month of so much Star Wars content, none of which is Clone Wars and primarily which focuses on Episode 9, we're getting Clone Wars only reinforcement skins, at least for this first update. I'm not complaining, I just didn't really expect that. The Clone Wars content continues, every time it ends, it comes back. But there's a lot of details to look into with these reinforcement skins, I'm going to sum it up for you here today. Like I said, first of all, all Clone Wars reinforcement skins. While it's not been said that it's going to be Clone Wars only, I think this tweet pretty much proves that it's going to be Clone Wars only reinforcement skins, like I said, at least in this first update. Also coming from Ben, there will be more than three, so at least four reinforcement skins, some of which are pretty obvious, I'll get onto that as we go along, but we're getting at least four Clone Wars reinforcement skins, and I would expect more than that as well. Now here's a very obvious one to a lot of people, but I still get comments every day like, why don't we get a Savage Opress skin for Darth Maul or a Jango Fett skin for Boba Fett, which, yeah, it does sound a bit silly, but I understand not everyone has the same perspective of looking at things. So if you are one of those people, let me just clarify for you here because some people might be thinking, can I get a Clone Commando Gregor skin for the Clone Commando or an Art Trooper 5 skin for the Art Trooper? And while a lot of us know that's not going to be the case, that was also confirmed by Ben because these are individual troopers. While the clones are all the same, this is where it gets confusing, but while they're all the same, they're all cloned from Django, They've all got their own identities and you can't have multiple Clone Commander Gregors or multiple Arc Trooper 5s on the battlefront. So these are going to be unique designs that don't really have that set personality or set identity yet. There could be any clone under there, so there can be multiple of them. So these will be unique designs for whatever clone skins we get, a bit like the clone skins in the game right now. We've got 501st clones, but there's no Captain Rexes running around, unless obviously you're using some PC mods, which aren't official content from EA and DICE. Clone Commando skins have been teased. Someone had this Clone Commando helmet on Reddit, and they wanted to know what pattern should they do, what design should they give it, and they were told to hold off here on the design until next week. From Ben, once again, so. Yep, Clone Commando skins, I would highly, highly think we're going to be getting at least one, maybe more, but yes, they have been teased. Now, the BX Commando droids actually had two skins found for them in the files a while back. I believe I covered this, a lot of people have covered this, and these are the BX Commando training droids and the BX Captain. So, two different designs here, the Captains aren't too different, but they are a different design nonetheless, and these could be two of the potential four or more skins we're going to be getting, I would highly believe once again with these two that they'll be in the game next week, judging by the fact that they were found in the files so long ago. Finally, Rocket Troopers. Now we were given a free Rocket Trooper skin in the last update for Battlefront 2, kind of a 501st themed one, and it was completely free, but you can still switch out to the other original default um, jump trooper skin as well. This is definitely a tease. I do think at some point in this game, all the different clone legions in the game so far will also have their jump trooper equivalents. I would be very surprised if that doesn't happen and I do think them giving us one for free last month was kind of a tease for that. They could price these at maybe, it could be 15,000, could be 20,000. I think 15,000 would be very reasonable for some clone jump trooper skins. Very basic but new skins nonetheless and I am into stuff like that. So, who knows, but that is everything we know about the reinforcement skins coming to this game. And what excites me so much is that it's Clone Wars only. I do feel sorry for everyone who loves the other areas, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not excited for this, especially knowing that Episode 9 content is on the way, and that's bringing new reinforcements in general to the game, which I'm sure will have their equal amount of skins, I would think. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to try out these skins next week.